Welcome to Bad Idea Metals. I'm Anthony. Today, I'm gonna to show you what I'm working on. Um, and this is more of a safety video than anything else. Um, I'm not an electrician, I'm not a really a pro at this, but I want you to look right here. So this is a caddy. It's a caddy for batteries. These are 50 pound battery sleds or caddies. These go in the large APC server rack mount um, UPSs. Basically, if the power fails, these batteries will run a server or a rack of servers long enough for them to safely shut down. Save data, um, turn off connections, basically preserve data loss from happening. What you do is you put a whole series of these, these sealed lead acid batteries into a series and you, or you can actually do parallels and series. So using these terminals here, they'll plug into a, a control unit. So here's a problem. This one arced on me while I was working with it. It came out of a unit that caught on fire in the building it was in. And so it became available for me to tear apart as a recycler. I got it home and uh, I've already disconnected the leads. This battery, you can see that these terminals are off and the terminal way down there on the end is off. So, in fact, it's this black wire and it's kind of free floating right there. So this battery is now inert. It's got all the potential still, but it's not hooked up. You can see that this socket right here, this connector is, it's in good condition. And this one's missing altogether because this, this jumped, it shorted out in the controller that it was in and it, and it caught on fire once, and I got it home, and then it caught on fire again. So, I just wanted to, to show that these batteries mean business. So this right here, this is a sealed lead acid battery. This is what it looks like when it's outside of the, uh, the battery sled. Um, it's got a negative and a positive terminal, but it also is sealed on the top. They're filled with a coagulated sulfuric acid. These battery sleds would fit inside of one of these units and then it would connect to the internal circuitry which then provides power on these outlets uh, in the event of a power failure. It's a, it's a really good source of lead for me. Um, here, let's take one of these batteries apart. All right, now that we found some shade, uh, it's getting super hot outside. So we're gonna, we're gonna cut this open back here on the rocks and uh, we're gonna weigh this first. So we've got ourselves a five and one quarter pound battery here. Let's check that two uh, kilogram, 384 gram. So just about two and one third uh, kilograms on this. So we're gonna cut it open and, and weigh the different parts. Let's be honest here. Whenever I look at a battery, I wonder how much lead I can recover from it. Now, every manufacturer is gonna do things a little bit different, but for the most part, uh, most lead acid batteries are the same kind of componentry inside. So I'm gonna at least give a general idea with this 12 volt, seven amp battery, and uh, just know that not all of them are gonna match. There we go. So, all right. So, these are the cells from within the battery here. So, the amount of plastic in this gonna be almost nothing 220 grams um half a pound so yep yeah, about half a pound so that means that our our lead is going to be the majority of the rest of the weight now there are some metal clips on here 
but these metal clips are uh, are not gonna weigh much. So we are at four pounds, uh, about three quarter, four pound and three quarter. Two kilogram, 162 gram. And let's, uh, let's open one of these up just so we can see what it's like. So inside of these, there's two types of lead. There's the lead, straight lead. I'm not sure which one's which, but, um, screwdriver, come back here. In here, you've got these like, uh, they're almost like cotton pads, but then there's a different type of lead on the inside. So this is lead as well. So both, both of these sheets are lead. Just one is, is slightly different than the other in that it has an extra component. And I'll go through that after I look it up because honestly, I can't remember. Um, I'm not a chemist when it comes to these batteries. So I don't know that. There we go. So this is all lead for the most part. You've got the two different sides of the cell. Oh man, I really hope I'm on frame. So inside of these cells, there's that, that wadding. And then here's your lead. Let's take, let's take the uh, lead and free it from all of these little sponges. Okay, so in grams, we've got 440-ish uh, grams. Eh, about three quarter pound. So that means that of the battery's weight, the plastic and the salt and the sulfuric and these sponges accounted for about one and a quarter pound, which means our lead should account for the rest and I'll get I'll get the uh, the ratio here and we'll talk about that all right let's get this weight and then we'll figure out the percentage so this is almost exactly four pound or 1.8 uh, kilogram. So let's let's do our math on this. So we got the weights now, and I, I calculated out the percents. So at about eighteen hundred and twenty-four grams, the lead itself is seventy-six percent of this battery's weight. The padding with the sulfuric uh, saturated in it, that that padding comes to about fifteen percent, and so if you do 76 plus 15 that remainder gives you uh, about nine percent a little over nine percent for the plastic uh, There's a little bit of a metal clip on there, but let's just say that the waste is nine percent uh, The the external waste and then the pad is 15 altogether. It's 24 percent of a battery is throwaway and then 76 percent is our lead uh, these are a chemical process, which therefore can result in byproducts such as uh, smoke, fume, or even fire. So please uh, don't try this without doing the research um, as to what, what to expect. Uh, definitely be very careful if you ever open a lead acid battery. So that concludes my, my video here. I wanted to know the percentage of uh, lead to other components inside of a sealed battery. Um, it's documented in many places that in the liquid uh, spillable lead acids that um, you should expect about 40% lead for the weight of the battery. Um, that's good news for, the, uh, for those that are trying to collect lead. Um, these sealed batteries are 76%. Well, that's where we're gonna leave it. Uh, thanks for watching, stay safe. Please don't try things unless you know what you're you're doing or you're willing to take the risks okay i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching